Hey there, everyone. Nightmare five zero one five with the last and final of the blood assassin of the bleh, yeah, I screwed up. The last and final of the blood assassin trio brothers and the most deadly Leorax. Can you guess why his name is Leorax? Because my friend, he takes after Leonidas, Spartan king and the star of the Brave Three Hundred. Now, any of you that have seen Leonidas know that he fights like a friggin' badass, and that's exactly what this guy is taken after to do. Now, the story behind him... Well, obviously, him and Galrax don't get along so well. I mean, considering they're both close-range fighters, they keep debating who's the better one. They've fought each, up, each other a couple times, um... <laughs> Sorry, Galrax. Leorax wins. Um, anyway. His fighting style is a shield, which um, was used from the Skull revamp, which is why I don't have that set together anymore. The spear, which is really nice because I haven't seen a lot of people use these uh, Knight's Kingdom swords. And I figure, well, they're cool weapons, why not? Um, and actually, I used... Three of them. So not only did I use a piece that I have never seen before, I used three for the win. See, look, there's one there and one there. These are the Spartan short swords. My bad. That was a complete camera fail. Okay, these are the Spartan short swords, which I mean, when I when I put it on screen, it looks kind of big for for even a bionicle. But when you see if I put it on him. Not so much. Now see, the, the annoying part with the spear is I have to take it apart to actually take it on and off because the uh, this little piece at the bottom here is there so I can't just slide it off. It's there for looks, but it looks really nice, so I don't, I don't want to change that. Um, put that in there. It actually looks kind of disproportionate. Let's see if I can get him in, in frame a little better. Now, it is a pretty good size. Um, see, when I hold it like this, it looks kind of small. But hey, he, he's pretty nice looking. And the Spartan shields, as far as I can remember, were much bigger. This almost looks like a buckler compared to what they were using in a buckler. It's just basically a small round shield that fits on your forearm alone. It's almost to where it's that small. Um, and the one problem I had with that is the Spartans could freaking hide behind those things, and I couldn't find one that was big enough that I could actually just sling on his back. I, I tried the Leacon Great Blades put together in a um, shield-looking thing, but that would have ended up being way too big for this Bionicle Mach to sustain. So I uh, ditched that idea. And you can see here, from the feet up, the Mach itself, more Knight's Kingdom pieces, although these I have seen used... A lot before. I mean, these are these are pretty common. These feet are simple. The legs, the weapons peg into there. So he actually has two swords. So that's why he's deadly because he has a different choice of weaponry. He can use his shield and his spear. He can use just his spear. He can use his swords, sword, shield. He, he can mix it up all kinds of different ways. He can use a spear and a shield too. I mean, a uh, spear and sword as well. Kind of like Hilde in Soul Calibur Four. <sighs> Never liked her much either. Anyway, um, the body, the body and the hip design, I actually kind of took from Moon Werewolf Air. You know, that's why I consider this mock pretty unoriginal, except for the weapon style. Because this whole hip design, this exact hip design and body I've gotten from her, the body design actually comes from Paula Marcus, which is kind of a Tarix, almost a Tarix remake, except no gold pieces, it's just blue and silver. Um, and this hip design she uses on, like, everything. I mean, literally almost all of her mocks, other than her titans, I've seen use this hip design. I don't know how she pulls it off so well. The first time I tried, like, I, I figured out how to make it more stable, but the first time I tried, I used just a regular, one of the old Mata hand joints, and this thing was just falling over like this. I mean, the hip makes for great posability, but if you're not using the right pieces, it'll just fall right over. Um, what I did was I actually used one of the newer joints, and those end up being stiffer, because they're actually made of thicker plastic than the other ones. Almost a rubber-like plastic that actually fits better. So, his shield can actually peg into his back here, 
And if he doesn't want, if he's not in combat, he can just put all of his weapons away, which is kind of a nice touch. Kind of a stylish touch there. Man, I am so pathetic. Everything on this mod comes from a werewolf air. But overall, he looks pretty effing badass. I mean, I don't care how much I had to copy to make it look like this. It's just insanely awesome, and it's very worthy to be called Leorax, just because of his weapon setup and the fact that he could probably slaughter both of his brothers if he really wanted to. Lucky for them, he's on their side. Not only in blood, or whatever the hell it is that runs through bionicle veins, but, you know, as a friend and ally. So, yeah, Leo Rex. Pretty sweet looking. Oh, if I ever do, like, a like a stop-motion vid, the first one I'm probably going to do is just my own This Is Sparta remix with this guy. Ah, spoiler alert. Of course, I may or may not. I still, I'm still having kind of some trouble with the whole stop-motion concept. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. First of all, because the camera I'm using, which is this retarded little flip thing doesn't do freaking pictures and I don't feel like using another camera. First of all, because, well, I don't know how to use another camera at the moment. Plus, I don't want to go out and have to buy my own. Although, I could use my mom's camera. Eh, uh, you know, wh whatever, I'll stop talking. Nightmare5015, signing out. Leorax will rape you.